Don't mind me, the Russians are coming. I'm just being prepared, okay? It's so, okay, it's all safe. They've gone past now. I'll talk about that in a minute. So, do you remember I said I was going to do some slightly different videos? Well, the idea is I'm going to move away from motor vlogging a little bit. I'm still a motor vlogger. To be honest with you, I don't like the way that the motor vlogging sort of peak is going. Um, I don't really like their direction of the bigger guys and, and to become one of those bigger guys, you tend to have to follow that direction. Well, I'm not going to do that, as I never do follow the crowd. I'm going to do my own thing still. People don't like it, they don't like it, but I'm sure there'll be new people that do like it. But as I say, there's going to be sort of a combination, a bit more of a live vlog, a bit more stuff that I'm going to talk about. It gives me more stuff to talk about. It's easier for me to talk about things sometimes than it is when I'm out on the bike, but there will still be a mixture of everything within the same video, generally. First thing I'm going to talk about... Russian ship cruises through the channel. It's so close that you can see it from the White Cliffs of Dover. Shit! If you live in England, you may have seen there's a lot of stuff going on at the moment saying about how there's a Russian ship going past and we've got to do it. Russian ships go past all of the time. It's very regular to happen. Our forces have to go out and just sort of go along going, you're right, yeah, we see you, just watch yourself, we're here. It's just, it's like the Cold War. It's, the, it's just this. It's just, go on, you go, carry on, keep going, keep going. We have to do it. If we don't monitor them, they think they can get away with anything. But it's no risk, it's no danger. But the media has jumped all over this, like, Oh no, the Russians are coming! Get in the bone shelters, everyone! We're fucked! <laughs> Basically, just ignore it. It's just the media making a story out of something that doesn't exist. On TV earlier on, on was it the, the Victoria Derbyshire, or whatever her name is, show, the expert on there said, like, he's been brought on to answer the questions, and he's like, yeah, this is normal. This happens all the time, they're in international waters. They have to, they want to go to Syria, they have to go through this way to get there, unless they're going to go the other way around the world, so it's going to happen. But that's the media for you, isn't it? Make a story out of nothing. Right, something I've done in the past before now is Q&A videos, as you know, and they're always very successful, people love them, people pester me to do more, but because I tend to do them in big hits, it means that they end up being 30, long, 30 minute long videos, and you know, people don't want to sit through that necessarily, although actually lots of people do. But what I've decided to do is I'm going to do more regular little ones. So I'll answer one or two questions and I'm going to ask between my Facebook or my Twitter and my Instagram independently. So if you've got Facebook, Twitter or Instagram, follow me on there, search me, find me, there's links in the description. And then when it pops up, just be like, send your question and yours might get answered. So, um, Spectre223 on Twitter, given that God is infinite and the universe is also infinite, would you like a toasted tea cake? No. And for that reason you have no meaning, because you toast, therefore you are, but you don't toast, so you're not. Sixth Gear Motorcycles has asked, what has been your main motivation to keep vlogging over the past five years? Simple. Happiness. To live a life that is freer, as free as possible, without worry, and just to have fun. Now, a few years back I was working boring jobs, you know, I was, uh, they were good jobs, they were good, but I wasn't earning a lot of money and they were boring. And then I decided, why don't I just go down the direction that I want to go? And that's when I started vlogging, and that's when I quit my job like six, seven months ago. And now I'm in a position that I can work from home, I'm free, I can, like now if I want to jump on the bike and go somewhere I can do it. I can work from my phone, from my main job, and it's to basically... It's a Bob Dylan quote. A successful man wakes up in the morning and goes to sleep at night and does whatever the hell he wants in between. If I can do that and still pay the bills, and I can do that for the rest of my life, I will feel like I have had the most richest, happiest life I could possibly have. It's difficult to do, but difficult isn't impossible. And this is the next step. I'm, gonna, I'm up in my stuff, I'm up in my game. Last one, Damoto73. If we can see the Milky Way galaxy in the night sky, how can we, how can we be in it? Um, because it's massive. In the same way that if you were inside a massive boat, you can see each end. I guess. Anyway, um, talking about the past five years, you see this? This is an iPhone case. It's got a plastic thing shoved on the back of it because it's sort of sat on my chest like this. Camera's here, and the microphone came out, it was a hands-free kit that went in my helmet. This is my original blogging, uh, blogging? Vlogging, motor vlogging setup. And inside of it, and I still use this to this day as an iPod, is the original iPhone 4 that I had, and I did it on. 
my videos back in the day, back in the day in the beginning, that were rubbish, were filmed, edited and uploaded from this phone. It all began with this phone and this botched up case which has got, if you look, this side's like normal phone case, this side is solid because it's got a metal sheet in there to make sure it didn't move around too much. I found that the other day, I thought I'd lost it, I actually found it, this is, if you've been watching my videos before, this is the shelf of random shit, there are videos that I've gone through it, um, it's a lot of memory stuff and just stuff found on beaches and, you know, but it was hidden in there, in between, I'm behind something, I was like, what the fuck? Anyway, I do actually need to go out today, um, I'm waiting for a parcel to come off, basically, I'm not going to say what it is, but that's a clue, ish. Oh yeah, something else I didn't talk about. You know, um, Drive Tribe, which is the sort of, it's the sideline of uh, the sort of the Grand Tour. It's basically they're producing content or paying for content to be produced. So anyway, there, there's there are production companies out there looking for people to work with them for stuff that's going towards being used for the uh, Drive Tribe stuff. Um, and I got an email, and basically one of these production companies is interested in me working with them. I, however, may not be. You see, I'm very selective about the people I work with. I've turned down TV sort of things before now because if I don't feel completely happy about it, if I feel like it's going to in any way infringe on my integrity or the way that I'm seen, because I, I am who I am, uh, and if I don't feel like I'm happy to do it, then that is a very good reason to not do it. But they seem to be pretty cool people, so I've said, hey, there's my number. When you know more, let me know, and I might end up doing something with them, so that's quite cool. Next thing on today's agenda, rejoining the gym. As you all know, I was going to the gym a lot, uh, and when I quit my job, I basically had to cut back on stuff to afford to live. So obviously, first thing I had to go was the gym. Well, I have a job. I'm rejoining the gym. Gym rejoined. I think by this point in the video, you can probably tell where I'm planning to sort of go with the channel, the direction. There will still be videos which are just on bikes. There will be videos that are off the bike. Uh, and there will be videos like this one, which is a mix of the two. And I think the mix of the two is the cool one because it's a bit of a journey. It's bringing you on my day and, and the things that I do. And I do get to have some really cool days. Admittedly, and this is the reason why I'm not becoming a daily vlogger, my life is not necessarily that interesting. I couldn't make a video every day because some days I just edit and edit and edit and edit and there is nothing fun in that. If you're, if you're feeling a bit sort of like, oh, I don't like this, I don't like this, it's different, I don't like change, just give me a minute. I, this is the first sort of step into it. I'm, I'm, I need to perfect it again. You know, I spent five years perfecting my vlogging on a bike. I now need to find my little tricks and little things that I'm going to do for the off the bike stuff and the way to transition between the two and and the stuff that I really shouldn't be talking about because you should just be like, I don't care any about it, I just want to watch the video, start to finish and be entertained, learn something maybe, have a laugh, it's, that's what I've always been about. See you later! Bumped into a lovely subscriber of mine, good luck with everything mate! Sounds like you are on the up and up. And that is something I want to talk about here actually, the up and up. If you've been watching my channel for a couple of years now, you'll know that there was a point um, a little while back there where things went a little bit south. All right, they went a lot south. They went very south. Life fell to bits, literally fell to freaking bits. And I took a month out and I was like, no, we're going back in this, we're going to go back, and in, that, in those few months I, I mean god I lost like nearly four stone in weight, I worked so hard on the channel, I made so many things happen, like 2016 was, it was my year, but I'm going to make 2017 my year now, you know, it's, 2016 has been probably the most changing year that you will have ever seen me watching videos, anyway, the point is, when shit goes south in my life, when everything apocalyptically goes wrong, I tend to just like take a break for a couple of weeks, build up momentum, and then bang. And for the next like five, six months, I'm the most unstoppable motherfucker on earth. I will make anything happen. 
and I've done this multiple times in my life, when things have come to a head, you've got two options. You sit there and you just moan about it, or you get off your ass and you make it happen. You make your life better. Because anyone can make their life what they want if you put enough hard work in it. I truly believe that. And there lies my problem. How the hell do I keep that up when I'm happy? Because right now, I fucking love my life. And I noticed that I wasn't putting the same effort in. I do love this car park, by the way. Um, I wasn't putting the same effort in. I didn't have the drive. My drive kind of got a bit fizzled out. And I realised it's because when shit comes to a head, that's when I'm my best. But I don't want my life to have to be in a misery for me to be successful. That's fucked! So that's basically what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to learn to be me at my best, but not when I'm at my worst. I need to be me at my best when I'm at my best, not on my best when I'm at my worst. Because that's, as I say, that's just a shitty deal to myself. I didn't do it. Look, he's got one of my stickers on the back of his helmet. That is so cool. Honestly, the first time I saw someone wearing one of my hoodies, just out on the street, and the first time I saw one of my stickers, well, every time I see it, I'm literally, I'm like, that is so cool. Later, man. So this step up, this little change in things has really got my juices flowing for vlogging again and, and, for, and doing things. It's just, I don't know, it's what I needed to take that next step. Leave your kitty kitty under the car, don't stand there, you're gonna get dead. Fucking typical. Ah, 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 ah.